Welcome back guys to another beer review. Uh, next beer up is uh, it's a style of, I've never had anything from the brewery, uh, just to let you know that. And it's a style of beer that I've not had for an awfully long time. Uh, I actually had, you're probably going back to about 97 and maybe for a few years after, that I was drinking it and even when I was drinking it then it was uh, it was mixed with a brown ale, man's brown ale. and. Uh, because I used to drink brown and mild. It used to be half a mild, half a brown ale. Which I used to really enjoy, to be honest. Uh, but today's beer is one that I picked up from Waitrose. It's from the Coach House Brewing Company in Warrington, I believe. Yes, it's in Warrington. Uh, Cheshire, so it's not far from me. An hour away, see? And this is a bottle of their Gunpowder Premium Mild. Coming in at 3.8%. Now... I always remember mild being quite sort of weak anyway. Uh, whether the premium thing is referring to the percentage or just the taste and quality of the beer. Uh, we will find out, I suppose. Uh, certainly we'll find out if it's the quality of the beer. Uh, I think mild used to be about bloody 3.2, 3.3%, something like that. So, uh, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. Uh, like I said, style I've not had for a long time. So... There's the artwork, I do like that. There is a lot of stuff in Waitrose in Chester uh, from this brewery. This was £2.15 a bottle, so really good value. Let's just hope it's nice. It's a 500ml bottle, plain black bottle cap. Uh, so let's get it out of a bottle, get it into a glass, see what we can get. As I say, I've not had, this is, this is a traditional style drink full stop anyway it's the old man's kind of drink I remember used to look at old men drinking this when I first went out drinking bloody jet the milk out of them get off my my old you know anyway there's my little uh, <laughs> my little funny turn and I've got a nice traditional pint glass that was sent to me by Dean so thank you Dean I've told said this many a time but much appreciated so let's get this traditional drink into a tr traditional pint glass and see what we get. Now, being as I haven't had it for a while, and I've never actually read up on anything like this, my views on it, what I'm expecting, could be totally wrong. What I'm expecting is uh, a, a, a maybe, not over rich, but quite a malty sort of beer, that's maybe quite sweet, a little bit nutty maybe, So this this will be quite interesting. I'll have a look at the back of the bottle afterwards, maybe once I've given a few views of mine. In the glass, chestnut colour, real dark, deep mahogany chestnut colour. Uh, I'm not getting any carbonation there. I can't can't see nothing because the light. Sorry, excuse me. We've got half a finger of tan quite compact head and it doesn't seem to be sort of like just just disappearing it's it's going slowly I'll, I'll give it that but compared to the miles I used to see it used to just go there was nothing on them this this actually looks quite good so uh, I don't think I'll be doing much swirling but I can get the old nose in there let's, let's see what we get oh yeah oh Rich, chocolatey. Sort of toffee, caramel sort of notes in there. Maybe a hint of some sort of coffee sort of bitterness in there. It, smell, it smells quite nice. I've got to admit that smells really nice. So, uh... Let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is, that is lovely. That really is lovely. What a nice change of a beer. Oh, let's dive in again.
body's thin, not too heavy, heavily carbonated, and you get lots of little bubbles in your mouth. Yes, got a cat there meowing at me now. Uh, lovely and smooth to drink, lovely mouthfeel, soft mouthfeel, warm in mouthfeel. Rich, malty, chocolate. Oh, that's just, that's just really nice. Mm. Hold it in your mouth and move it around at all. Velvety, velvety in your mouth, that is. 3.8%. Yeah, I wouldn't argue with that. I mean, let's face it, these days, 3.8% is nothing. Probably is drinking to it. It's got a nice bitterness on the back end. Smooth and velvety. A sweet, malty taste. There's a sweetness in there. Chocolatey sort of taste in there. That's really enjoyable. Uh, that is something that has brought a smile on my face, to be honest. Uh, remember drinking my old years ago from pubs and that. But I suppose thinking about beer and appreciating beer more and the fact that people are actually trying to brew beer that is 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 good stuff. Uh, not just mass produced and chucked out and chucked in a dirty old pump line and comes out like pissing dishwater and flat. That, <laughs> that is lovely. Or maybe it's just old age. Uh, maybe it's old person's taste buds kicking in. Oh. That is a lovely mild. Like I say, they're from Warrington. Uh, my nearest Waitrose is Chester, so that's literally up the road from Warrington. That may be the reason they get this, because it's more of a local beer for around there. No doubt you could pick this up. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Yep. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, coachhousebrewery.co.uk does say about buying it there so if you like these styles of drink uh, oh excuse me i think you'll like this that is actually a refreshing change uh to all this all this craft beer that you know that is in the supermarkets and that is ready readily available and that basically beer reviewers like me are drinking awful lots of but so nice to have a traditional style beer that is done really well and it for me it goes to show that a traditional style beer if done well competes with all the craft beer uh and and in a, in, a, in a way you could say we don't need all the craft beer if, if, if we can have traditional beers that are made well anyway so that's it i'll leave it at that now nine minutes in waffling on too much again in my videos so there you go coach house brewery gunpowder premium mild lovely lovely drink if you've had it let me know what you think if that's your style of drink that you kind of like or would like to try it try it because i think that's really nice if you are having a, a beer tonight enjoy it go and enjoy this a, a nice pleasant surprise to be honest and uh, I will see you all again on another beer review very soon. And I may even do another one tonight. We'll see. Cheers, guys.